It was the dawn of November 9, 1620, when the pilgrims of the Mayflower first watched the curtain lift on the new world. They held what they saw to be a virgin land, terrifying and strange. What could we see but a hideous and desolate wilderness, full of wild beasts and wild men? And what multitude there might be of them, we knew not. Like others before them, they'd heard of a wilderness filled with vast stores of raw wealth, lumber, furs, gold, or jewels. But these thoughts, if they existed, went unspoken as landfall approached. Men have often dreamed of creating wealth out of nothing by changing common substances into gold. The process is alchemy, and no one has ever achieved it. We've contented ourselves with digging up the real stuff. Today, most of us hang on to the idea of wealth as a frozen asset, like the gold stored in Fort Knox, or the untapped oil reserves off the continental shelf. But these are not, and have never been, the storehouse of America's greatest wealth. The wealth I'm talking about is alive. In fact, it's a blueprint for life. These plants and thousands like them have the power to process the energy of the sun and the minerals of the earth to produce food, cure disease, and clean the air. That's an alchemy more powerful than anything dreamt of in the courts of Europe or the boardrooms of Wall Street. Powerful, but not obvious. To see